Hello everyone. Enzymes used in recombinant DNA technology are very important trending questions in the last few exams. So let us crack it down. So first, which are the enzymes used? So I have given here, this is as per the table in Harper, that one is phosphatases. The name itself tells you what is it. That is, it removes the phosphate group from the 5' end of the RNA or of DNA. Then DNA ligase, what is its function? It seals the nick between the two nucleotides. That is another. Then DNA polymerase 1, you know that it adds the nucleotides one after the other. So you can see one nucleotide is added to the other. So that is DNA polymerase 1. Now thermostable uh, DNA polymerase, you know where is it used? That is our TAC polymerase used in the PCR. Then DNA is 1. DNA is 1 means it is the DNA cutting enzyme or in other words, you can see it is something which causes nicks in the DNA or it produces nicks and it degrades the DNA. That is called as DNA is 1. Where is it used? It is used in DNA food printing. Then the next one is exonuclease 3. Exonuclease 3, we know that they are the nucleases which removes the nucleotides from the ends. Exonuclease 3 means it is removing the nucleotides from the 3 prime end and there is a lambda exonuclease which means that it is removing the um, nucleotides from the 5 prime end. Okay. Then uh, a kinase. Kinase means always transfer a phosphate group. So, something which is transferring, you know, this is the end of a nucleotide. So, a phosphate group, if it is transferred to this 5 prime end, then it is a polynucleotide kinase. Then reverse transcriptase, that is very simple, right? From an RNA, from an RNA, DNA is being synthesized. That is reverse transcriptase. Then RNA-SH. What is RNA-SH? It is something which removes the RNA from the RNA-DNA hybrid. Next, what you can see is the S1 nuclease. S1 nuclease is a little complicated. That is, when a single-stranded DNA forms a hairpin loop like this, then S1 nuclease is something which degrade these ends. Like you can see that it is degrade a single-strand DNA which forms a hairpin loops and at the ends which are cut using S1 nuclease. Then terminal transferase. Terminal transferase is very simple. It adds nucleotides to the 3 prime end. Then recombinases. It is the one which is acting as an adjuvant to restriction endo endonucleases. That is, it helps in the site-specific recombination of the foreign DNA to the host DNA. There are various enzymes there. CRE recombinase, then INT recombinase and FLP recombinase. Then the last one is the CRISPR-Cas9 system which is a genome editing mechanism which is an enzyme which is used in the recombinant DNA technology. This is the latest one added to this list. So these are the enzymes used in the recombinant DNA technology. So thanks for watching and follow for more. Bye-bye.